Examine. Looks like the dog's trying to tunnel his way out of this hovel. Can't blame him. I can't have Mother living in this hole. We've got to get out of here. This is supposed to be a bunk bed? Oh my gosh, it's really just wood. There's not even anything comfy there. A note addressed to Gamlin. Hold on. I think this is the same cheese that was here a year ago. Eat it! You're wasting food! Gamlin Amel. Payment is now two months late, Sarah. Interest accrues, as you are well aware. You will find yourself barred from our establishments unless payment is made. Think. No Bator, Card Sharp, or Numbers Runner in Kirkwall will deal with you. I certainly hope this matter is attended to before steps are taken. Let us avoid further unpleasantness. Gallard. Oh, uncle. Still gambling. Even though you have us around. The house won't clean itself, uncle. Oh, whoa! Ah, uh, this might be stuff from the estate. We sold it, but some stuff is still here. Or maybe it's DLC stuff? I guess? Tomes allow Hawk to instantly learn abilities. Yup. Uh, if this is DLC stuff, I would rather just leave it here for now. Actually, these aren't good for me anyway. Great sword, great sword, long sword. Close it for now. Memento of Legacy. Yeah, these are just. Is it DLC stuff? I can't tell. I think it is? No, 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 no. Oh, that's how you start the DLC? Here? These two are DLCs? Okay. I think I'm gonna leave these alone for now. We're supposed to be- Oh! Jarvia's Shank! Barat's Revenge! Remember Jarvia and Barat? From Origins? Jarvia was the, um, the lady who took over after Barat died. They were the people from Orzammar. Hood's message to the king. Oh. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it alone for now. Is it that good though? It actually doesn't seem like it's that much better than what we have. Oh! Well, this one's way better, right? <laughs> yeah. I'll come back here when appropriate. Oh, but if we don't take it, the quest will never go away, right? Um, I'll put it in the storage. How about that? I'll take it and put it in storage. How much space do we have? It doesn't say. Well, I'll do that. I'll do that. Right, right. See, that's all... <gasps> Inventory full? What the heck? What? Just gave me 60 items? Are you kidding me? That's way too much. But I just want to get rid of the... Oh my... That's way too much, man. There's that blood dragon armor again. What? It didn't seem like there was that much stuff, but that's because I didn't scroll down. Holy crap. And each thing has a codex, really? What, is it all like that? Two? I just want to get rid of the little markers, that's all. Oh, it's full already, again. My god. Yeah, I saw... This had a whole bunch of DLCs, like a whole bunch. At least they're easy to identify because it's all green. But this better not fill up my storage, I swear. Better not. Now my codex is filled up. <laughs> Yikes. But have we gotten rid of the... the marks at least? I'll consider it later when we get stronger. It's not like I'll never look at this, but yeah. Oh, we got some runes, but they're like... They're like not real runes. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll store these ones as well. Okay. How's codex looking? Oh, item codexes. Oh, we got so much. Yum. Okay, these are gonna be my lowest priority then. We just got way too much in one go. Amulet of Ashes, a ruined piece of charred wood hangs from its setting of half-melted gold. 
Holding it over an open flame, however, reveals its powers. In the flickering flames, the gold recedes into some former shape, while the wood turns brown and reveals its grain. It's basically item descriptions. Why would they put it here? I don't really care about that that much. Okay. Mother? My children have been in servitude. Servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. This is the way things are, Mother. Gambling can't change it now. Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lancey, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is Father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was red, it went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. That sounds like you took my mom's share. I know the Amels were nobility, Mother, but not much else. Why don't you ever talk about them? The Amels have been a noble family in Kirkwall since Garahel drove out the Fourth Blight. But we've always carried magic in our blood. Garahel. It's been a stain on our lineage. No family of good standing would ever marry into a line with magic. When I chose your father, I was bringing more magic into our line, not less. I think that's what hurt my parents the most. Oh, I thought it was the apostate part. No, it's the mage part. Does that mean that Carver and I were adopted then? Because we're not mages? <laughs> uh, maybe it's not for sure that you become a mage? But certainly some kind of hereditary component to it. Did Grandfather mention Mother in his will at all? Our father died when you were still in Pinafore's girl. You can hardly expect me to remember. Sounds like a yes to me. Hmm. Let's look. Take me to the vault. Can't. It's in the cellar of the estate. Someone else lives there now. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gamlin? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. Even if the will says that my mom is owed something, it doesn't really change much practically, though. Because my uncle is poor as hell. It'll just mean that he's verified scum, but it won't give us money. My mom will still be living here. It doesn't change enough. What are we getting? Oh, these are all the items? I think so. So, I hate thinking badly of family. But did Uncle Gamlin seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be Mother's, do you think he would tell us? No. <laughs> We're just talking about this right in front of him. Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about father. She told me she wishes she'd died with Carver. Oh my gosh. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. I don't even know if that's true at this point, because maybe that was the beginning reaction of my grandparents, but at some point they missed their daughter and thought, you know what? It doesn't matter what she does, we, she's still our daughter, we forgive her. Maybe they thought that, but our uncle wouldn't say that. <sighs> when this Deep Roads expedition comes through, we can buy her home back, move to Hightown. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Apparently, our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. Wow. How could Gamlin let that happen? I think there's a reason Mother didn't talk about him much. Seriously, though, those scum have no right to our family's things. We should break in there, get the will for Mother. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently the sewers run right beneath the house.
Okay, we'll keep it in mind. I think we have multiple things going on right now, and um, a bunch of stuff actually. Rumors. Oh, what the hell are these? DLC missions? No. Varric sources said that there has been a number of Templar raids held in the Low Town's elven alienage. He can't verify why, however, or who's been giving the orders. Act of Mercy. According to Varric, a group of mages being transported from Starkhaven hasn't arrived at the gallows. It's currently just a rumor, however, and cannot be followed up. These are all according to Varric? DLC rumors? I don't know. Someone's been asking questions about a missing Templar. A Dwarven merchant named Javaris has been offering a lot of coin for muscle. Some in the Chantry have been making quiet inquiries around Lowtown about the Kunari. Okay, ignore it for now. Um, I think probably what's happening here is I thought we were gonna get the 50 sovereigns pretty soon. But this might be like the last thing that we should be doing after finishing everything else. Feels like we'll be here for a, a bit. Seek out a Grey Warden for help in the Deep Roads expedition. There's one working as a healer in Darktown. In Darktown. We just heard about it from the guy at the pub. Okay, we keep going then. I want to find Aveline soon too. Otherwise, we can't get her to walk around with us. Let's go at the Lowtown. We need to talk to... Loreen and the guard. Oh my gosh, are those codex entries just gonna keep going? Seriously? Okay, where am I? Kinda lost myself. Over here. <laughs> Hanged man. Low Town Bazaar. Hey, lady guard. Those charlatans won't be bothering anyone again. Did you say something? I didn't hear you. And clumsy me. I seem to have dropped a coin purse in your hand. <laughs> See? It's exactly like being hired by the city guard. Okay. And then Loreen. Do you know about a healer? In Darktown? You again. What do you want? I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of is sitting on the throne. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a Warden? The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A Warden? Well, he's not a now. A healer? And busy enough without answering fool questions about it. So it's a mage then. A healer. Who are you protecting? You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. Well, I'm not a Templar. You mean he's a mage? Anders! Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? We would never turn someone over to the Templars, mistress. Never. He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. Anders! It's gotta be Anders then. The whole the Templar story immediately brought it back. Your healer is in no danger from me. No maid should suffer for an accident of birth. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has yes. certainly been free enough with his services. Refugees in Darktown know, to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. Is there any flower? We've been out for a week. The children are eating sawdust. Hmm. Maybe if I stab myself, Anders will appear, huh? I forgot what his epilogue thingy was at the end of Awakening, but apparently he's here now. Hey, oh. we heard you in there, asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town, and it ain't gonna happen to him. No, we have a mage here too. Chill. Chill. 
I'm as Ferelden as you. I won't harm your healer. Ferelden? But you, your clothes. I figured you for a Kirkwaller, sorry. Make her bless the rule of our King Alistair. It's not treason to say that here, right? Yeah, I'm not saying that Alistair is gonna take over Kirkwall for the free marches. I'm just honoring my king from another land. The Dark Town, we might have to leave here. And then some of the quests mentioned that we should make at nighttime to see if we can find quests. Bait and switch. Meet Anzo in Lowtown Bazaar at night. Right. Birthright. Find Grandfather Amel's will. Hey, I gotta find... I gotta find Aveline first. I feel like we should. A friend in the guard. Talk to her at the barracks in the Viscount's Keep. Okay, let's do that. If we walk around with her, we can get more friendship and all that too. And I'm very curious about Aveline too. Can we get her codex entry soon? Is Aveline... I didn't get a chance to talk about it in the beginning, but do you remember Aveline? It's not the first time we've heard this name in the Dragon Age world. There was that one knight from... Oh, not this way. The one knight from Orlais, who was basically responsible for female knights being a thing in Orlais single-handedly. It's the story that Liliana told us before. It also appeared in the Codex at one point too. And the way Aveline was introduced to us, it really reminded me of her because... She was like a gallant knight. But I don't think... Well, I mean, Aveline died ages ago. Part of the story was that she died, and that's why the rules got changed. So maybe maybe her family was from Orlais, and then her parents named her after Aveline, wanting her to be strong and brave like her. Something like that. Black Emporium, Chantry... Viscount's Keep, accessed by Hightown. Wait, I can't go there yet? Do I have to go to Hightown first? Viscounts keep barracks. I need to go there for... Aveline. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can go there yet. Oh, so Aveline is just... off limits? That's awful! Wait. Where, where am I? Okay, I'm here. Viscounts way. We could try walking there. Have I missed the spot last time, maybe? Or maybe they don't want me teleporting there. I gotta go there in person, one time first. Hold up. Is it just straight... Oh. Oh, okay. It was right here. Viscount's Way. City Guard Aveline. Late again. Where is she? Who are you looking for? That's ridiculous. How could anyone believe that? Bah! It sickens me just to talk about it. Viscount's Keep. Am I allowed in? We don't even know the name of the Viscount. But we know about Meredith. Already showing that Meredith is the person to pay attention to here. Not the Viscount. Hierarchy of the Circle. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. It is no simple matter safeguarding ordinary men from mages and mages from themselves. Each circle tower must have some measure of self-government, for it is ever the maker's will that the men be given the power to take responsibility for our own actions, to sin and fail, as well as to achieve the highest grace and glory on our own strength. You, who will be tasked with the protection of the circle, must be aware of its workings, the first enchanter is the heart of any tower. He will determine the course his circle will take. He will choose which apprentices may be tested and made full mages, and you will work most closely with them. Assisting the first enchanter will be the senior enchanters, a small council of the most trusted and experienced magi in the tower. From this group, the next first enchanter is always chosen. Well, I think we read this one before too. Beneath the council are the enchanters. These are the teachers and mentors of the tower, and you must get to know them in order to keep your finger on the pulse of the circle, for the enchanters will always know what is happening among the children. All those who have passed their harrowing but have not taken apprentices are mages. This is where most trouble in a circle lies, in the idleness and inexperience of youth. The untested apprentices are the most numerous denizens of any tower. 
but they more often pose threats to themselves due to their lack of training than to anyone else. Why are we learning about the circle here? A letter? From the Knight Commander? Oh, the previous one, to Meredith then. Probably. How much longer do I have to wait? This is done? Good day, sir. Hello? I'm allowed in here? It's okay? I guess it's okay. Hi? Evelyn! Evelyn! Hello, Hawk. Ooh. Been a while, hasn't it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. Are we still on friendly terms right now? She seemed a little bit hostile. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. Oh, she thinks I'm... Okay, it's not hostility. She's just babying me, that's all. <laughs> A person in your position. Seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Evelyn definitely doesn't strike me as a smuggler or mercenary type. Yeah, she's very... she seems very righteous. Like Evelyn of Orlais. Yeah, let's just ask about her dead husband, why not? <laughs> it's been a year settling in. Are you... all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. She has her guards up pretty high. This must be a very different pace from serving King Kaelin. I love that life. But there's a new king for a new Ferelden. Seems cocksure. But I guess he was there when the Archdemon fell. Can't fault an active hand. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. You and Carver must have felt something similar. I don't know if that's right to say. I barely knew him. I think we all... Carver, me, Aveline, we were all serving under Kaelin. We didn't know him. Yeah. Death on that scale certainly has a finality to it. Sometimes I wonder. Looks like a lot of people managed to escape from Ostagar are fine. Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity. If you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. <laughs> All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush. Probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. We don't say no to anything. Do you have a name or anything else to go on? Not important. If we show up and they attack, they're bad. Simple as that. I'll wager it's smugglers though. Like I said, seems like an obvious trap for a caravan. She's capturing smugglers. Good thing we're not smugglers. You've been nosing around outside your commission. I have contacts. And they're complaining about a lack of meat. Thugs and such. Someone is hiring. And one or two were told to prepare for travelers. You want to be good at this job? You pay attention to what's missing and when people arrange escape routes. You sound very comfortable in your role. Seems like you'd want to share this with your fellow guards. I will, if you sit on your hands. 
I'll send my alerts and someone else will lead a patrol. But there's profit and influence to be had. You're my friend, so I'm offering. Thank you. There's things that she can't do because of her position, and that's where I come in. I'm useful that way. Aveline, you've got yourself a partner. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. Okay. You're acting on behalf of the guard. Officially? Do you want to walk around with me? Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you, great. The Kirkwall City Guard. That's such a crappy logo, what even is that? It is with pride that I, your Viscount, grant the authority of law and civil enforcement upon the guardsmen of an independent Kirkwall. No more will we defer to the will of foreign troops, or draw holy order into tasks unbefitting their mandate, the Templars. These proud men and women will be of the people, and will enforce the laws we have elected for a civil and ordered society. And should the specter of invasion return, the noble guardsmen will conscript from the population. For who better to amass a people's will than the constables of law charged with its inspection? Ah, uh, this is a great day, fair Kirkwall, and I am honored to appoint the first guard captain. Long may he serve the will of a free people. From our legion legacy, how institutions of oppressors linger, the speeches of Viscount Mikel Lafayle, <laughs> Lafayle, collected by Philium, a bard. <laughs> how institutions of oppressors linger, city guards. Perhaps Carver would have worked here with Aveline. Oh. So, what can I do for you? Make a nose I'm none too busy. If there's something you need, I'm with you. The blight is over. You could go back to Lothering. That wasn't home for me. It was just where the Horde pressed us. It wasn't the first village I saw fall. But you don't get used to people losing everything. Hmm. It's not how I wanted to say goodbye. I'll say that. You can't go home again. That's supposed to be about maturity. It's not the same if you don't have the option. That sounds like something that you feel like it's the way things are supposed to be, whatever that means. You had something you thought I would be interested in? The ambush, yes. Sundermount, when you're ready. I'll give more when we get there. And no, you can't run off and okay, do Okay, thank you. I just wanted to talk to you. I don't know what the ancient Aventors used this place for, but I bet it wasn't making people feel at home. You never know. You never know. Fifth Blight, A Study of the Fifth Blight, Volume 1. While some of my contemporaries dispute whether the Fifth Blight was a true blight or merely a large darkspawn resurgence, historians agree that it began in the swamps of the Korkari Wilds on the southeastern border of Ferelden in the year 930 Dragon. King Caelan Theron was swift in responding to the threat, gathering the royal army, every Grey Warden in his country, <laughs> one, and sending a call for aid to the Ferelden nobility. The assembled armies laid a trap in the ruins of Ostagar, hoping to crush the force before it reached civilization. But they failed. Darkspawn overran the defenders of Ostagar and decimated the king and his army. They continued their advance into Ferelden unopposed. Only two Grey Wardens managed to escape the slaughter. And somehow, they came into possession of ancient treaties, which compelled the races of men to join arms against the missing horde. Who wrote this? It doesn't say who wrote this. Because they don't mention the Loghain part. Get that one out of the way, that one out of the way. Yup. Barracks. Is it okay? Is this okay if I... Uh... Okay, can I have that helmet? Cool. Hi guys, just loitering. Just loitering. I'm not. I'm not stealing. I don't think I can do that. Not going to happen. 
Uh, is that because our lockpicking is not high Today enough? Is treating you well, Sarah. You can try it right now. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, we only need 20, right? 20 for the next level? Um, 21, just to make sure we're over 20. Hold up. I can't do that. Okay, not yet. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't be lockpicking, pick locking the Viscount keep. That might be a good idea. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. We'll see about that. I do hope the Viscount remembers to eat supper today. What is the name of the Viscount? Oh, must be terribly busy. I've been waiting most of the day. Are we even allowed in? Maybe. Fine day, Sarah. What is Sarah? Hello? Who is that? Some more people. Seneschal Bren. Hello? The office of the Viscount is not open to the public. Especially recent arrivals not actually part of the public. What does that even mean? People who come here, refugees are not citizens? I mean, I guess so. Oh, it's a... Uh... Yes, it's alcohol. A rare collaboration between human and elven vintners. The result is a taste that has been called appropriately tense, occasionally requested in the Low Town Bazaar, although elves rarely do so openly. Okay. Bottled Scar, 534, Exalted. That's the time. It's like when you look at a wine bottle and it's like 1970 or whatever. Uh. Set. I thought someone got mad at me just now. Scared me. The Enigma of Kirkwall. The Viscount is suspicious, but the bribe was sufficient to gain access to the restricted section of the archives. The money would have been better spent elsewhere, the archives being almost devoid of Imperium era records. When the slaves revolted, they hunted magisters and burned the city. At least the parts that could be burned. One account says that streets were littered with piles of scrolls and books set aflame. Is our quest futile? Did the slaves destroy the answer? As Mafarath's armies toppled the Imperium, they sent three magisters and their legions here. They never arrived, but why march here of all places? What were they coming here for? Behind a panel with curious markings signed, The Band of Three. Hmm. This is just talking about what happened back in the day. Mafarath's armies? That's a long time ago. It must be before reading a certain number of books. We still got a whole bunch. <sighs> the Lemurian Accords. 50 years. That's how long it took the Imperium to drive out the Kunari occupation. But the rest of Northern Thetis was not so lucky. Both divines, white and black, of the two different chantries, declared exalted marches and for the only time since the schism of the chantry, they worked together. A century-long siege resulted, with a giant Kunari entrenched in Antiva and Ravain, and all of Thetis throwing armies against them. The war drained the resources of every nation in Thetis, leaving most on the brink of collapse. For the giants, it did not appear to be the damage to their armada or the loss of their soldiers, but the terrible toll upon the Ravani population that prompted their retreat. When the third new exultant march had all but massacred the people of Kant Ar, without even chipping the Kunari occupying force, the giants finally withdrew. The treaty that put an official end to the Kunari Wars was signed on the politically neutral island of Lamarin, on the southern coast of Ravain. 150 years after their assault on the mainland began, the Kunari left our shores. They received the northern archipelago in exchange for cessation of hostilities against all the nations on the Accord. Only Tevinter refused to sign, and so the war continues to rage in the Imperium to the present day. It's worth noting, however, that the Kingdom of Ravain immediately violated the treaty. Twice. Once when the humans of Northern Ravain, nearly all practitioners of the Kun, and therefore by definition, Kunari, refused to leave their homes and go in exile to the islands. And again, when the Ravain, Chantry, and Nationalist forces, unable to convert its people back to the worship of the Maker, tried to purge by the sword, slaughtering countless unarmed people and burying them in mass graves. It's a fortunate mystery that the leaders in Kant R did not alert their allies in the Northern Passage, or we'd still be fighting the giants now. The Kunari invading the... the Winter Imperium? The Kunari's invasion. 
Hmm. A lot of people probably don't see the Kunari favorably still. Kunari other than Sten. It'll be nice if we can meet some of those. Please keep it quiet, Sarah. The Viscount mustn't be disturbed. Gonna go disturb him right now, if that's all right. Oh my gosh. Gonna leave that one alone How for now. Do I have to wait? <laughs> oh. Oh, we can't go in! The Viscount must be terribly busy. I've been waiting most of the day. Guess we come back later. I wish the <sighs> weren't so illiterate. I had a report come in this morning that was nothing but a bunch of exes. <laughs> uh, why did they even bother trying to write it? Uh, we've read this one. It's about the black and the white divine, right? The divine is a titular head of the Chantry, although since the schism split the Imperial Chantry into its own faction, there are now, in fact, two divines at any one time. One divine, informally called the White Divine, is a woman housed in the Grand Cathedral in Val Royo. The other, the Black Divine, is a man housed in the Argent Spire in Minrathus. Neither recognize the existence of the other, and the informal names are considered sacrilegious. What about the one that we just read? Wasn't that written by somebody from the Chantry? No matter the gender, a divine is addressed as most holy or your perfection. Oh wait, we've 100% read this one. Beneath the rank of divine is the Grand Cleric. Each Grand Cleric presides over numerous chantries and represents the highest religious authority for their region. They travel to Val Royo when the College of Clerics convenes, but otherwise remain where they are. You should address them as your grace. After the Grand Cleric is the mother, or in the Imperial Chantry, the father. If a mother is in charge of a particular chantry, revered is appended to her title. Mm -hmm. They administer to the spiritual well-being of their flock. You address them as your reverence. And then after that would be the brothers and sisters. Affirmed, initiates and the clerics. Affirmed are the lay brethren of the chantry, those regular folk who have turned to the chantry for succor. Yeah, often they are people who have led difficult or irreligious lives and have chosen to go into seclusion or even orphans or similar unfortunates who were raised into the Chantry life. The affirmed take care of the Chantry and are in turn afforded a life of quiet contemplation, no questions asked. People who take vows become initiates. They are in training, whether in academic knowledge or the martial skills of a warrior. All initiates receive an academic education, although only those who seek to become Templars learn how to fight in addition. Clerics are the true academics of the Chantry, the men and women who've dedicated themselves to the pursuit of knowledge. They are often found in the archives, sages presiding over libraries of books and arcane knowledge. The most senior of these clerics placed in charge of such archives are given the title Elder, although such a rank is still beneath that of Mother. All other brothers and sisters are addressed simply by the title before their name. Hmm. Hmm. I have a theory. I want to see if it's right. Liliana and Sebastian. Do I come to where you work and stand in your light? Me? I'm walking away already, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so my theory is that uh, the Liliana is affirmed because they want to create a character who is religious, but then they also want to give you a reason. Like, why can you romance them and why can you sleep with them? So, Sebastian, also being affirmed, I wonder if he's romanceable. That's going to be my current theory for now, because I feel like we'll probably be recruiting him. Chantry, high town. Let's go to. Oh, the. The alcohol. We can bring it to the elven alienage. Let's. Being a guardsman seems like a better life than being a soldier. Oh? My brother was a soldier. It's all about taking land and serving some king you've never met. Guardsmen, they do something real. They protect people. They make their lives better. I don't know if I agree. Neither would my brother. Feel like maybe Bethany is thinking about how Carver, mm, being a soldier, indirectly got him killed. Maybe that's why she's saying that? Because I don't know if I would agree with that either. Usually, I feel like the average person would think being a soldier is more prestigious than being a guard. Something going on here? Around the... Oh! Elvin Vintner. Oh! 
You're exactly who I'm looking for. I believe you lost this somewhere. You did this. Without being begged and thrice paid. Interesting. Okay. I'm just randomly picking up things that I feel like people would want and I'm giving it to them. That seems like what I'm doing. A badly copied leaflet. Take back our streets! Pharrell and refugees, Kunari soldiers. Who next? To Vinter's labor snatching children out of their beds? This ends now. Send a message that Kirkwallers will not accept this. We must band together to drive foreign waste from our doorstep. Reclaim the free marches for the marchers. If you care about our future, join the friends of Kirkwall. Reclaim our city. Yikes. I can see that happening. It's not like the people in Kirkwall were doing well to begin with, and now more people are coming to steal their resources, is what they see. Eh. Yeah. But it's not... I appreciate that the Viscount here does actually let refugees come in, even if not many. But I appreciate that. Docks... Darktown. Docks or Darktown? Let's go Docks. Actually, there wasn't any quests here, right? It's okay, we'll eventually get to everything. You show admirable restraint, Bethany. For a mage, you mean? I could also say for a hawk. But yes, <laughs> for a mage. You have a sword. Why aren't you killing someone right now? Fair point. But I can put my sword down. Believe me, I have tried. A soldier can put down their sword and stop being a soldier? A mage can never get the magic out of their blood. You have no business here, Basra. Ooh. Wait, is this what Kunari look like now? This is like a Kunari place? Yes! Kunari compound. Oh. Interesting. I can't wait to see what our ancestral estate was like. Can you imagine? Oops. Mother gave all that up for father. Something something, true love. Bartran likes to make me deal with the harbor master. That man always smells like cod liver oil. About getting the estate Stay back. Here. We will do so without you intruding. Leave. Okay. About us trying to get the estate back. My uncle actually did lose the estate in his gambling or whatever though. So even though whoever's there right now is doing some Sleazy slave if you stuff. See a blonde elf girl, run. She's probably a blood mage. I mean, they did sort of quote unquote legally get the estate as uh, collateral for my uncle losing, right? So I'm not sure about us trying to steal it back like that. But then again, if you live in Kirkwall, I feel like that's just the kind of thing that you got to do. A blood mage? An elf? I don't think I've seen a elf mage yet. I don't know any mages. Mages... Uh, I'm a law-abiding citizen. What mage? I don't know anything about a mage. Are you a Templar? The Maker guides my hand. Okay, cool. Commoner. Watch out by the Canari compound. They seem very angry. Watch out by the Canari compound. Okay. Well, they won't even let me go inside. <laughs> oh, there's elves here by the docks. More than usual. Not even at the alienage. If the best thing you can say is that the blight didn't get here, it's a crap hole. Yeah, there's just no dark spawn, but it doesn't mean that people are living any better than before. Maybe Kirkwall hasn't ever even had a blight before. The where did the previous blight start? I don't think we have very clear information on it. Just somewhere in Thetis. Somewhere places where the deep roads reach. The deep roads don't reach here, I don't think. Actually, no, when we saw the map, the deep roads entrances went quite far. So maybe they do reach here. Onyx fragment. Shady merchant. Shady merchandise. Just don't ask where anything came from. Sure. Lesser for Mari staff, okay. Just don't ask where anything came from. Alright, I got you. I'm just gonna take a quick look. Formula. Tar bomb. These could be good. But how often have I used bombs back in Origins? <laughs> Alright.
right? Leave area, warehouse district. Woodrow's warehouse. Maybe that's something interesting. No quests here yet, but if we come back here at night time, if we come back after a certain events play out, things could change. Pretty big place overall. Hate solid ground. I'd rather get flanked than grounded. Kirkwall is one city, right? But even just as one city is it feels like it's bigger than Denarum. The alienage is overcrowded. Someone should do something about it. Don't need more of you around, thanks. Go scratch somewhere else. Is it really that obvious I'm Ferelden? I would hope not. How is it hanging at the docks today? Not the best view of the gallows, if there is one. What? Well, it's, it's seaside view. What more do you want? Pretty good if you ask me. Ferelden's taking my work. Not a chance. The docks, probably usually poorer people hanging around here doing manual and menial labor. Eastern Warehouse District. You're Ferelden, aren't you? Seems like there's more here than in Denver. Everyone knows. Even though the Ferelden earlier mistook me for a Kirkwaller. Kirkwall is a sit. City, so the, the region is called Free Marchers then? Free Marchers. Woodrow's Warehouse? Broken Statuette? Maybe we can't go in for now because we don't have a reason. Okay. Yeah, the docks are... We've scoped things out briefly. Pretty much it for now. Make her turn his gaze on you, child. That's fine. Let's get out of here then. 